Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joby and today I thought we would take a look at the side panel connector on my pedal board. This thing is incredibly awesome and not terribly expensive. I bought this from btpa.com, Bestronics Manufacturing. So you can go there if you wanna pick one up yourself. Basically you have to buy the panel connector and the four jacks separately. And when it's all said and done, you're going to be paying around 70, $75 to have it shipped to you for this four panel connector. Now I know that you can probably build this cheap if you want to hunt around on eBay and buy Chinese stuff, but this is made in the USA and all the parts feel extremely high quality. It's very easy to install and everything works the way it should. The reason that I use this is because I run the four cable method and I use this last one here to go to the foot switch jack on my amp. So the little jacks on here actually have these little red locks, which is awesome because once you plug in, your cable does not come back out unless you press the red release button. These suckers stay in there firm. And that's basically how the backside works too. So let me flip the pedal board over now and I'll show you the underside and how it's wired up. Okay, so now we're looking at the underside of the pedal board. And as you can see, we have the same clip locks on the underside. The really great thing about this is having this panel, you can position the pedals on your board in any way you want and you don't have to think about what's going where. Am I gonna be able to plug it in easily to get into my amp? You literally just plug in underneath and plug in on the outside. Forgive my crappy cabling. I ran out of George L's cable, so I kinda had to use whatever I had laying around on this pedal board. So yeah, I still need to clean that up. Um, I'll show you a wider angle just so you can see what's going on. Okay, so yeah, as I said before, please forgive the rat's nest right now. These two are going to my effects send and return. One is going to the front of the amp and the other one is the foot switch for my amp. So just so you can get a bit better angle on what it looks like. Okay, now for the negative aspects about this, and there really is only one as far as I'm concerned, and that is, as you can see, this is just about touching the top of this table, and this is the newest version of the Pedal Train Junior. I basically had bought this hoping that if I decided to go back to my bigger pedal board at some point, I could remove this and do just that. But unfortunately, it's too tall for the older style pedal trains. This will not work with an original pedal train two. I'm assuming it wouldn't work with original pedal train one. I have not tried it with the pro or larger, of course, because I don't own those currently. So anyway, you guys, that's going to be it for this video, but I would 100% recommend this product to you. This thing makes setup and teardown so much faster and easier, but the one that's made by BTPA is very high quality. It does not feel like it's going to break, and it feels like it's going to work for me for years. I would also like to mention that this video has in no way been sponsored. This is just a a product that I use and believe in. So anyway, you guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, I truly appreciate it. Peace. Take it easy.